Hi, my name is Cree Miles and this is It's My Vaginas You Better Fucking Read, a 90 second visual book review. Today I'm reviewing the 1986 novel by Marie Kondo, entitled I, Tatuba, Black Witch of Salem, or ITBWS for short. Now ITBWS is setting as bi-continental as it takes place in Barbados, Boston, and Salem in 1692. 1692? Ain't that about the time of the witch trials, Cree? Yes, as the title suggests, Tatuba played an integral part in the Salem witch trials as she was the first one to actually be tried. Now Tatuba was born out of a product of rape. Her father her father was a white English sailor and her mother was an enslaved black woman. As a child, Tatuba saw her mother get hung. That was her punishment for killing another white man who was trying to rape her. Tatuba ran away and was raised by a black free mystic woman named Mama Yaya. And although Mama Yaya eventually died, thanks to Tatuba's conjuring powers, she was able to talk to Yaya and her mother whenever she needed to. Unfortunately, Tatuba had a propensity for fuckboys and that often found her in compromising situations, including but not limited to the Salem witch trials. She evaded murder though and actually ended up back in Barbados where, in part thanks to a boy, she was hung anyway, but she was also planning a slave revolt. The bad news? Most of this story isn't true. Honestly, we don't know much about Tatuba outside of the transcripts from the trials. The good news? Although the trials resulted in 20 white murders, the families were fairly compensated, and America felt so bad about those 20 white murders that resulted in that tumultuous year that in 1972, America opened the Salem Witch Museum. Oh my god, Cree, you always try to make this about race. Ain't there an African American Smithsonian Museum in DC? <laughs> I mean, yeah. After 246 years of slavery and the insurmountable number of deaths, and when I say insurmountable, I mean insurmountable, if you count the 2 million estimated deaths from the Middle Passage paired with the 30,000 black deaths from the Civil War, and add that to the deaths we'll never even know about from the bug breaking, alligator hunting, mandingo fights, and hot boxes, I mean, Yes, in 2016, we did get the African American Museum of Natural History and Culture. Anyway, go read the book. If you want to buy it, there's a link below for that. Or if you want to check it out for a little bit and give it back, there's a link below for that as well. Either way, you better fucking read.